Let's see. What's up guys, my name is George and I like backpacks. Today I got two backpacks that I wanna compare. I got the GORA GR1 and the 26 liter, and I got the Recycle Firefighter Battalion that, just, that is 18 liters. So I wanted to compare these backpacks because they have some very similar layouts. Somebody in the comments hit me and was like, George, you really need to check out the Recycle Firefighter Battalion pack if you like certain little things in your e EDC or everyday carry backpack. Let's run down the specs on these bags really quickly. The GR1 over here, since it's a 26 liter pack, weighs 3.2 pounds. Now this pack comes in two variants. You can buy this pack from GORUCK in a USA made, which is 295. USO, everything is made in the USA, or you can get the Vietnam, I think it is, pack, which is made in Vietnam for 265. This pack is a 1000D Cordura. The pack itself measures 12 inches wide, it's 20 inches high, and it can expand out to 6.5 inches. And it also fits a 15 inch laptop. Now let's go over to the Recycle Firefighter over here. The, the weight on this pack is 1.14 pounds. So almost half the weight of the GORUCK over here. And the price, the price is almost half as well. So the price on this is 169. Like I said before, this is an 18 liter pack. It's also made out of a thousand D Cordura. And the measurements on this pack measures 11 inches wide, 17.5 inches high, and it can expand out to 5.5 inches. And also can take a 15 inch laptop. So let's talk about the similarities and the differences. Should you go ahead and buy the GORUCK GR one and spend that $300 or save some money and buy the Recycle Firefighter for damn near half the price. When I usually do my reviews, I do them from the bottom to the top, and this is no exception. So let's take a look at the GORUCK really quickly. On the bottom of the GORUCK, GORUCK builds in a false bottom into this bag, which is very helpful. Anything that you put inside the bag, it's got an extra layer of protection, especially for your laptop. Now, if you go over here to the Recycle Firefighter, it's really the same material all the way throughout the bag. So let's move up these bags. On the GORUCK GR1 right here in the front, you got three rolls of Molly, so you can attach some extra pouches or whatever you want, maybe a load-bearing carabiner or a carabiner or something like that on the outside. Now the stitching on the GORUCK is excellent, even on the Molly right here in the front. See, on the Recycle Firefighter, you don't have anything, but you do have this vertical zipper, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but nothing really on the outside of this pack. Now, as we move up, we get to our quick access pocket or what GORUCK offers you as a quick access pocket. It's this little slash pocket. All of the zippers on this bag are YKK zippers, same as the Recycle Firefighter. So we'll unzip and get inside of this bag. So in the front of the GORUCK right here, there's no organization at all. It's just a big dump pouch. And you can put a lot of items in there, like I put in my three by five moleskin notebook that I usually carry. But usually when I'm carrying this bag, I gotta search around you kind of going in blind and trying to feel your way to find something inside of this quick access pocket. Now let's talk about the Recycle Firefighter's quick access pocket in the front. When we unzip this, we actually get high-vis lining. I love high-vis lining inside of packs because it makes it so much easier for you to find your stuff. But you also, in this pack right here, you have a lot of organization, not a lot, but some organization, where I was able to stick in like an electronic organizer right here. This is made by BUBM, and that fits perfectly in this last pouch. It's like a larger pocket down here at the bottom. And then you have another slip pocket where I was able to slip in a Word notebook. And then you have another slip pocket. So there's three slip pockets where you can slip in items. I can able to slip in a pilot pen, a Sharpie. This is the cut jack modus right here. Cut jack modus. The steel wheel modus right here. The cut jack is the one I returned. The steel wheel modus right here. Great knife. So. All of that stuff 
fits in here. And then you have, still have extra space right here in the front where you can stick some more items if you want. I really like what Recycle Firefighter did in this pocket. It's definitely an improvement over the Gold Rug GR1. If you wanna carry this for like everyday carry, very quick to get your stuff in and out. And this zipper actually works. So one of the benefits of having your organizational panel set up like that, if you're wearing the bag, you kind of sling it around like this in front of you, you can unzip and get right to your quick access stuff. Very inventive design, I like it more than I like the open pocket that's in the GR1. Now that we talk about the quick access compartment, let's talk about these morale patches fields in the front. On the Go Ruck, you got a regular three by two morale patch field where you could put in whatever morale patches you want. On the Recycle Fighter Fighter, it's a little bit larger. I'm thinking this is probably like four by three. It's a larger field, so your morale patches will be a little bit smaller than this space right here, which is fine. I don't really care that much. I don't usually wear a lot of morale patches. Now let's talk about the grab handles on the top of these bags. Totally different kind of style. Let's start with the Recycle Firefighter. On the Recycle Firefighter, it's about a two inch wide piece of webbing right here. It is box stitched and folded over, no padding or whatever, but it is sewn really well into the top of the bag. And you do under, underneath the grab handle right here, you do have a port to run your water bladder out of. So there's a little tab right here, you just pull it, kind of get inside and run your water bladder and then down the shoulder straps. Now on the go ruck, this is where Go Ruck kind of sets itself apart, and this is where I can see you're paying that extra couple of dollars, not an extra couple of dollars, that extra $150 for the bag, is the grab handle is super well stitched in. There's a box stitch, it's bar stitched, and you'll see, see this throughout the Go Ruck bag. It's really over-engineered, maybe over-designed. And for some, they want to have this bag for years and years and years. I think the Go Ruck can definitely do that. So same kind of thing, you have a port right here where you can run your water bladder out of. You just kind of grab it. It's kind of hard to grab, actually, and you can stick your finger inside of that little hole right there and run your water bladder out. Let's go to the side of these bags. Kind of similar, actually. No water bottle pockets on either side of these bags right here. On the Go Ruck, you do have three rows of Molly on the side, which you can purchase a hip belt from Go Ruck's website. But this is a 26 liter pack. I really don't need a hip belt. So these Molly attachment points on the side probably won't get used. On the Recycle Firefighter over here, there's actually nothing, no water bottle pocket, just a smooth design. Before we talk about the back panels of these bags, let's talk about the material. I know what I said. I said both of them are made out of 1000D Cordura, but I can tell you, the Go Rux Cordura is just a little bit heavier than what's on the Recycle Firefighter. This is a little thinner. I don't know if they're getting their Cordura from the same place or Cordura is made in the same place. I'm thinking it's just like any other fabric and they're not made equally because I can definitely tell this Cordura fabric is a little bit heavier. Now let's go to the back of these bags and let's check out the back panels. So on the Go Ruck, we'll start over here. We'll start with these shoulder straps, again with the high quality stitching, two bars tack stitching places, and then a box stitch holding this shoulder strap in. And I can tell you the shoulder strap is really stiff as you first get it, but now after a couple of months, it's starting to loosen up and it's starting to memorize kind of my shoulder and the way it feels. I kind of like that actually, it feels really comfortable. So let's check out the Recycle Firefighter shoulder straps. No stitching on the outside of the bag, all the stitching is inside. And the shoulder straps themselves feel really good. This is like a new pack, I just got it. And for, it kind of feels what the Go Ruck shoulder straps feel like after you know just brand new out of the box no breaking in period at all so they're already very comfortable i like that now on the back panel of these bags let's talk about the go ruck first the go ruck has this a flat back you know it's a very dense cushion inside of the back panel they have some sewn i don't know they're not air channels but there's a sewn design right here in the back now on the Recycle Firefighter, it's kind of the same thing. It's the foam in the back is a little thinner than what's on the Go Ruck itself. 
And there's some sewn channels or whatever, kind of in a diamond pattern. This is in like a rectangular pant pattern but kind of the same thing. In the summertime, both of these bags are gonna make your back hot. If I had to choose one back panel that's doing it a little bit better, I'd probably go with the GORUCK GR1 because of the shoulder straps. I think the shoulder straps are just a little bit better and they feel like they're gonna be more comfortable with even heavier weight. So let's get into the main section of these bags. It's gonna be kind of hard to do because both of these bags are clamshell opening. So we'll kind of go into the GORUCK GR1 first and take a look and then we'll pull open the recycled firefighter bag and take a look so on this bag you got two pockets on the lid of the bag itself so you got one zipper pocket which is kind of small maybe a couple of inches where I stick in some like snacks and stuff so I have some breath mints some got my sport set right here and uh, some beef jerky so I throw in some snacks in this small pocket and then on the bottom pocket I use usually use this for larger items but not very good looking you know right here you got a little patch that GORUCK includes that says lifetime warranty and we're going to talk about warranties a little bit later because the recycled firefighter mm, we got to talk about it so both have you know pockets in the inside the recycled fighter fighter is the same way when you open it up inside you got a pocket right here so same kind of thing where I stuck in some snacks so right here I got some about 100 calorie nuts and then down here at the bottom you have a larger pocket they're basically the same exact setup but the Recycle Firefighter over here has the high-vis lining in the interior. And I can tell you right now, this makes it easier to access your items inside. So I'm kind of liking the Recycle Firefighter for that particular purpose. It's seen in the interior of the bag. In here, I put my camera kit, little camera kit that Green Room 136 sells. And then I also have my sunglasses. But inside, you have a lot of space where you can put whatever items you want. I could definitely use this for 24 hours to pack out some stuff, maybe a, a change of clothes. And it's a good space. I like the clamshell opening on both of these packs right here. Now, in the G GORUCK GR1, you actually have a little bit more going on. I put in my Peak Designs tech pouch, a 40 ounce flash, and a large first aid kit but inside of this pack right here you have a little sleeve where you can stick in some extra items I think I stuck in my baby wipes but in this pocket right here is usually where you put your go ruck plates or your ruck plates if you want to carry some weight inside of this bag so up here go rucks included some molly attachments where you got actually three more rows of molly where you can attach different items in here i put in my micro stream i just stuck it or wet weaved it into the uh, molly right there and another pen if i wanted to you know write or whatever but there's some additional organization going on in this pack that the Recycle Firefighter pack doesn't have. So I like that because it gives people more options if they, they wanna kinda customize their bag in the way that they want. Now let's talk about these laptop compartments. We'll start with the GORUCK. Now the GORUCK advertises itself having a bomb-proof laptop compartment. In my experience, it's a very well-designed laptop compartment kind of flip these shoulder straps back and then you can get inside of this laptop compartment. Spend it off the bottom, very well padded back panel. So even though that the laptop is inside of the bag and this back panel, you don't really feel it when you have it in there. And I definitely feel like this laptop compartment will protect my laptop at all times. Now let's check out the Recycle Firefighters laptop compartment. Now inside of this laptop compartment, you do have high-vis lining inside, which I actually do like, so you can stick extra items in there or it makes it really easy to see, like I said before. I stuck my 15-inch Dell XPS in there. Let's take that out for right now. So on the bottom of this laptop compartment, it's not really suspended off the bottom. That's one major flaw in this bag. So you really have to be careful if you're gonna stick your laptop in this bag that you set it down easy because you could be damaging a laptop if you set it down hard. That's one thing I hope that Recycle Firefighter changes in this bag going forward and 
brings that laptop compartment up or puts some cushion down at the bottom so that your laptop is protected. So let's talk about the warranty on these bags. Now, GoRuck over here offers you the SCARS warranty, which is a lifetime warranty. Anything goes wrong with this bag, you can send it back to GoRuck. They'll either repair it or replace it. Now, when I went to the Recycle Firefighters website, I couldn't find any information about a warranty at all on their website. So that's kind of concerning. So if you spin that 160, you kind of want, no, you do want a warranty on a bag and that, an investment of that large. So that's one thing that I gotta kind of knock down this Recycle Firefighter bag on is the fact that there's no warranty information on their website. And even their return policy is kind of funny style. You know, I saw, I saw on their website, they said after 30 days, they'll, they're not gonna accept your return. And then if you do return it, they're gonna expect it and make sure that it has all the tags. No company wants people to use their products and then return them, but you gotta allow people to return items if they don't like them or they see something different or maybe they just want an exchange. I think that their return policy is a little strict and the lack of warranty is kind of unforgiving. That's the only thing that kind of stands out as like a major flag for this bag right here. Usually at the end of comparison videos, I'll say this bag is better than that bag, but I think these bags are plain on two different fields. So I think the Go Rug bag is more of a bag for everyday carry slash travel. You can do both with this. And this bag will last you for a very long time. I hesitate to say forever, but it's gonna last you at least five or six, maybe even 10 to 15 years. So the way that this bag is constructed, everything is high quality, heavy duty. Now, the Recycle Firefighter bag is not a lesser bag, but it's just not made or constructed in the same way that the Go Ruck is. And you're gonna pay for that Go Ruck construction. This bag is well worth the 160 that they're advertising and charging for it. It's just an everyday carry bag. It's not designed to travel for long distances. It's, it's designed for you to put your stuff in your laptop and your everyday carry essentials, flashlight, knives, pens, pencils, and then carry this back and forth to work or school or wherever you go during the day. Not the same type of bag. I would say that the Go Ruck is kinda overpriced still. I think this bag could be around 250 or 240 or something like that. And this bag, I think it's sitting right there at 169. In the perfect world, I would say this bag would be like 120 or 110. But you know, prices are subjective and I really can't say how much, you know, the Cordura fabric costs, YKK zippers, that's, you're gonna pay for those top quality, you know, premium materials. But at the end of the day, I like both of these bags. That's why I have both of these bags. And I'll probably hold on to both of them for at least a little while. So thanks for watching George Define, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I try to reply to all my comments. What's your everyday carry pack? Write it down in the comments. I'm curious to see what guys are carrying. Thanks for watching again. See you in the next one. Peace.